Hey, uh, Kyle. I need this sent priority mail. Yeah. Kyle, I need it priority mail. Yeah, but you gotta keep on him. Travis talks and he talks and he talks. He'll tell you something. Remember, the only way to disconnect the Xeno from Selenium is by using something they are deeply attached to. So, figure out what he wants in his pathetic life. It's gotta be something. You'll get it. I have faith in you. Ah, drugs must be wearing off. Wakey, wakey, Jerome. Your new mama awaits. There she is, pull up. His location has stayed the same. Nothing out of the ordinary. Good work, Liana. Listen, with Travis going rogue, I need someone to step up in this place. I can pay you three times the amount I was paying him. I can't keep track of Travis and do your work at the same time. Oh, of course, of course. Calvin's picking up Travis as we speak. I'll be having him take Dr. Perez to pick up supplies. She'll be monitoring him so you won't need to. Take care of this work for me, and I'll throw in an extra bonus. How sweet is that? Fine. My people back home could use it. That's my girl. Let me get you the files and get you out of here before they get here. I'll page you when it's clear to double back. I wasn't expecting you here. And why is that? Well, I came home a few nights ago. And you wasn't around then. Father, I'm sorry that my grown ass missed curfew, but I do have a friend that I catch up with from time to time. I would love to just kick it right here, but I know it's probably against some damn X-118 rule somewhere in the book. Hey, you know I never read that shit, right? I used the papers to wipe the mirrors down. I never did ask you, Travis, how that job went the other night. Like any other job, why? And I was just making conversation. Well, you never asked me before, so why are you asking me that now? Because I know it takes a toll on you. Hell. It would take a toll on anybody. But everybody plays their role in X-118. It's how we do what we do. These people that you handle, they are threats to not only our operation, but your species, this country, the police, the judges, the president. You know this speech is said by Paul like four times a day, right? And I'm just letting you know, boy, you have a gift. Every Xeno has one gift. Yours is to not miss your target. And when you stop using that one gift, you no longer become an asset. You're a liability. We are all out of test tubes, gloves, and a few more minor supplies. Dr. Perez has that list. Take her, grab what you need, and come on back. Ah, <sighs> hello again. For the record, Paul said you like this kind of music. I still don't know why. It sounds like the music they use to torture terrorists. Okay, I'll give you the answers. Just make it stop, please. Speaking of stopping. Madam, the car feeling a little off. Oh, I do not get paid for this. Let me just check and see what's going on. Last thing I want is the X-118's Royal Highness to be in a pickle. One moment. Lo siento. Well, what do you know? Flat tire. Hey, Mira, I can't change tires, and we can't ride around with that. And seeing as I'm with the queen, it'll be too risky to hitch a ride, so I'm sorry. We're going to have to walk. But uh, good thing you wore your sneakers. I like Converse, too. I got your bag. Don't worry. Let's roll.
Los Santos Wireless here. I am offering you the new 6G data trial to your plan. Oh, that sounds good. I'm currently stranded right now, so I can definitely use the extra G. Uh, can we move forward with that? Got it. I'll email you the confirmation once we make the adjustments to your account. Have a good day, Mr. Dark Chocolate Drop on the tip of a strawberry. Thank you, and remind me to change my last name in the system, please, for next time when you call. So I get it. You're super smart. You got a PFD, P PDF, that thing, the PhD thing, whatever it is, and studying Xenos. I didn't even really know they, they give those out for that. You, you might want to check and make sure that's valid. But I'm saying, if you like me, or, well, if you like us, you know, my species, so much, why do you sit by and let Paul enslave Zeno? That doesn't make sense. You're just as guilty as him in my eyes. That devil, I'm, I'm sorry, that man, right, has sold young Zenos to pedophiles, rapists. He sells Zenos based off of fetishes. White person wants a black Zeno, here you go. Black person wants a white Zeno, I got you, homie. That doesn't seem horrible to you. Your job is to study us for the human curiosity. You are supposed to let the dummies know what we like, dislike, what we are, and what we aren't. And what we aren't, Dr. Perez, is y'all's pets. That's what we ain't. So you need to go sit at the table and delay that shit. For whatever dumb reason you have, you are wanting to be president of this shithole. I'm sorry, X-118. Mrs. Dr. Perez, how are you going to run this company? Why should I vote for you? Because right now, where I stand, I'm not. I'm voting for Larry the janitor. He seemed to have his head on a little bit more straighter than y'all. You seem like the one who's gonna do what Paul wants you to do. So although you're in charge, you won't really be in charge. See, it's just that I don't have a PDF file degree like you, but I am, like, smart. Like, I do use my mind, too, despite what the hell they say. And none of this stuff makes sense to me. It just doesn't. But, hey, listen, we do have one thing in common. I will say that. Paul wants to control who we are, and I got some damn invisible collar on my throat, and you walk around with a turtleneck on yours. Hmm. No loca printo. What the hell? Where is my car? Tire went flat on the side of the road. We had to hike all the way back to the unknown. And you made Dr. Perez walk? My guy, that is a grown ass woman wearing sneakers. What you wanted me to carry her ass on my back? She can walk. Somebody get a warm bath going for her. Jeez, do you ever use your freaking brain? Where is my car? Oh yeah, no problem, I can give you directions. Okay, leave out of this dungeon. All right, take a right. Keep straight, you're gonna see some dirt. Take a left, then you're gonna see more dirt, and then more dirt. Take a right, and then more dirt, and then more dirt. And just keep driving until you see a whole bunch of dirt, and it's right there. Amazing instructions, idiot. Nah, I could go get it if you want, bruh. No, you've done enough. Somebody get Calvin to take his damn son home. Get Ricky on the car, tell him to tow it in. No tip, better off doing Uber Eats.
Oh, Grandma, Grandma, I'm going to be there for Sunday dinner. I never miss it. Are you making that souffle? Mmm, I love it. You better be inviting me over too, boy. <laughs>